Intense grief has overcome Buffalo over the last two weeks. Local children are struggling to find the words to make sense of it all. So a teacher had her students write them down and send those thoughts to our country's leader, President Joe Biden. Two on your side's Danielle Church has their story. If you can hear my voice, clap on. Dear President Biden. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. What comes next? If only math were the biggest worry for 10 year olds in Selena Borg's more. class. Oh. Some of my students live near that tops. They go to that store. Omalio um, LeBoy's parents shop there frequently. It's sad to see um, um, black people die and it's not okay for people to just do that and kill people. He and 19 classmates yeah. must relive the trauma caused by gunmen after gunmen these past few weeks. I can't go grocery shopping now. I can't go to school now. Asking questions no child should have to ask. You never know that in the future someone might come and ruin our lives. They want you, the leader of our nation, to hear their voices. So please. About 20, 20 letters, yeah. Really read those words coming across your desk. Pencil to paper has not only become their therapy. We just spent a whole day on it. They actually asked to skip some of their other classes to continue writing. But these fifth graders know what being a target of racism feels like. Yes, I have. They need solutions. We can't solve all of the problems, right? But there's people that can. It gave them a sense of hope and a sense of um, power that they didn't have before we wrote them. If a teacher can give what? that to her students, surely you can give it to a nation and beyond. If he read it, maybe he can do some things to change this world. If we continue to sit by and let tragedy reign. It broke all of our hearts. No, no one deserves it. Teachers don't, students don't. Our legacy will be nothing more. Sincerely, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News. Oh no, that's the end, okay. You guys like these two.